Boy, have I got a deal for you today. Free piano lessons. The next thing, so we've covered tempo, rhythm, dynamics, beats per minute, inversions, scales, and the different fluctuations between all of those. I could spend some time talking about the how to structure songs within all of those different things. So we can do whatever we want with those different things really within all of this this structure we can have scales and scales changing randomly along with rhythms changing random we can have everything be random we can have some things be random other things be structured so for example we can have the song be we can have the scales be random <laughs> just some random scales playing chords and other notes within those scales now we can try and have after every two scale changes we'll have we'll go from mezzo piano to forte pretty wide jump there in dynamics every two scale chord changes so this is an experiment I've never done this before Let's hear what it sounds like. Okay, so I'm gonna start over. Mezzo forte, I'm gonna do first. Forte, no, mezzo piano, I'm gonna do first. Forte second, every two scale changes.
I'll end it right there. It was it was interesting. It was a little too structured for me personally to play in that kind of fashion. But I can see how maybe some people would like listening to that or enjoy playing in such a structured form. Personally, I think it may be combining more structures to it to make it a complex enough structure where that it was many different... So if I, if I added scale, dynamics, and some rhythm changes to it, maybe within every two structures, it could probably be more interesting that way. Just a couple of different things to think about. One last thing I want to talk about while we're in this introductory piano course is that a lot of this is going to be work that you have to do going from this point forward. So I've kind of introduced a lot of different concepts to you as far as creating music without really reading music. A big piece of uh, being a good piano student is to learn and actually play music that's on a page rather than just create your own music. And I say this because as you learn other people's music, whether it be Mozart or Beethoven or Pedreski, what you will be you will be learning from these from these minds who have created really interesting stru song structures and song notes and the song dynamics and everything else that goes with creating a composing a piece. So, so the, the homework that I have for you is I'll be I'll be I'll be listing free sheet music resources that will be available for your download to print off and then and then play and learn. Now, depending on your age, I will have guidelines based on for ages 8 to 14, learn this piece of music. Now, I haven't really gone into reading out a, a piece of music, and granted, it, it is helpful to have an instructor there with you, physically present to help guide you through different pieces. However, it is not necessary by any means. It will just require more work on your part to listen to the song that you are playing in a recorded form and then play and then play the song. And I might even compose a few pieces of music of my own for uh, children's songs just so that I can give you the music available for free and then I can play the songs that you'll know how it should sound. And then as you play through it and you, and you, and you think something maybe doesn't sound right compared to how I played it, then you can know what you're doing, what, what, what might be happening wrong, and you can fiddle around with the notes until, oh yeah, that's, that's how it's supposed to sound.